What is up YouTube? Joystick back here with a brand new Overwatch 2 series video. This is my Junker Queen guide so you guys can become a top 500 Junker Queen. My goal is to teach you all my top 500 Grandmaster knowledge so you can get good. Oh my, oh my god! So your main goal as Junker Queen guys is pretty simple. I'm gonna keep you know reiterating the same tip throughout each tank video because it is the same for all tanks your main goal as a tank player is to eliminate the enemy backline to win the game you take out the enemy supports and everyone else will die quickly supports always first majority of the time you got to take out that lifelink take out the supports take out those healers and you'll be good to go Next, I want to talk about Commanding Shout. So this is a really, really important ability. I like to use Commanding Shout to actually get your team into the fight with the extra armor and movement speed boost. So like, I'll be walking up right to the choke and get my team. I need to get my team through, pop that Commanding Shout, give my teammates that extra armor and the speed boost, and you want to go and you want to press W. You got to keep in mind that sometimes you need to save your teammates too. So my teammates are uh, already low HP here. And I see that, I'm like fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, and I'm like, oh, one of my DPS is low. I'll literally just walk over and pop the shout on him just to even save your teammates that way. There's also other uses where you can actually bait uh, the enemies into thinking they can actually kill you. So say I'm taking damage and I'm like dueling, uh, you know, an enemy, maybe in the 1v1, and I'm getting to low HP now. And they think that I might have already used my shout and they're trying to go for the kill. Boom, pop that shout and then I actually win that 1v1 because they actually don't know if I have it or not, right? Lastly, I want to talk about using a shout just to get your teammates out of spawn quickly or just to get yourself out. So say you've died and you're coming back from spawn, you're coming back to the fight, like pop that shout just to get a little bit of extra speed boost like you're obviously not really benefiting from the armor but just get the, get that extra speed boost to get your teammates back you know maybe if like one of your two or teammates already died and they're right there with you just get them back to the fight quickly next i just want to talk about positioning in general you want to be playing in front of your team and around your team uh it's really important that like you get you know that frontline value even though you don't have a shield, like, you still have a lot of uh, tankiness to you. They added uh, HP buff to Junker Queen recently. And you want to play around your team so that they can also benefit from the shout, like I said earlier. I think taking high ground is important too, as, as much as you can. Or just taking, like, certain off angles so you can um, get up close and personal. This is a hero that, you know really benefits from uh, you using this primary fire shotgun and your you know your carnage is gonna be important right you got to be right up and close to actually get that value you got to be really really aggressive and then hold W as well um, but you got to be in the face of your opponents and make sure you keep your team around you so they're still getting that benefit from the commanding shout you're doing damage and it's just a nice formula next I want to talk about the primary fire which is your scatter gun slash pump action uh, gun so you want to be up close for the big damage, not the best at range, but you still want to be, you know, shooting your gun at range because you are doing damage, you know, it's not like you're not doing anything from range, but you want to be up close, you want to aim for headshots as much as possible because that's going to be your big damage there with this gun. Yo, Junker Queen on Havana though, wait, hold on, hold on. And always try to be shooting when you can because like you might as well be breaking shields uh, You can you know poke from range. Obviously, it's not gonna be a lot Try to get up close in the face of your enemies and you're actually gonna be doing a decent amount of damage with this gun Especially if you're being if you're hitting consistent headshots, too So next I want to talk about is your carnage ability which is your axe so this ability wounds all enemies in front of you while dealing damage over time get up close to hit your target and do that big damage, right? So you gotta be up close to even hit that, right? The axe is really important and it will do a lot of damage to actually like finish off targets too. I love to use it as a finishing tool. They use cleanse. Oh my God, it's so thick and juicy. Oh my God. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh. 
make sure you guys keep in mind that like the more enemies you hit with this ability see if, if i was able to hit two there then uh you actually get your cooldown a little bit faster so the more targets you hit and connect with that initial swing cooldown will come back um a few seconds faster next i want to talk about uh the jagged blade this is um your knife so you want to be throwing this blade honestly as much as you possibly can because not only does it like heal you over time with the wound damage but you can also pull targets closer to you like i did right there right so i'll try to stick a target pull them into my direction and then I'll even use my melee to get even more wound damage and healing over time. So I'm like maximizing the amount of health gain that I'm also getting too. Wait, my knife just got a kill, dude. I didn't even stick him. That's awesome. I just threw it behind them. I love to use this ability to just, you know, pull targets out of position disrupt the enemies and you know i honestly have gotten kills where you know you just pull them off the high ground or you actually throw the blade behind uh the enemies and pull it back and you can like get multiple targets hit with the blade you know maybe if you get lucky you can even pull a target off the map it's really hard to do but you know it's definitely not impossible the combo that i like to do is I like to shoot my targets, like soften them up a bit, hit them with the knife, and then finish them off with the carnage. Like that's such a great combo. It's really, really effective uh, to getting like a kill really quickly, and boom. Like if even if you don't finish them off with your gun, there you can also hit them with the melee. That also is uh, effective too. Hit with the melee, and they're dead. So that's a nice combo. What a knife, dude. Next, I want to talk about Rampage. So this is an ability that's really, really crucial to actually winning fights. This is your ultimate ability, after all. So basically, you charge forward, winning enemies, dealing damage over time, and preventing them from being healed. Oh my god, it's massive, chat. Oh my... Oh, oh my god. Oh... Jesus. So basically you want to line up as many targets as you can to get this, you can get max volume from this alt. But here's the thing guys, Rampage is only good if you're able to catch the enemies off guard and um, actually like bait certain cooldowns, right? So, and what I mean by that is like, you want to be baiting out Kiriko Suzu, which is like basically a cleanse, which is a, it's a hard counter. You want to bait on a sleep dart if you can, because you can be slept like mid alt two. You want to try to bait Sigma Rock if you can, because you can actually be disrupted if he hits you with the rock while you're ulting. Roadhog Hook is another good example. Maybe wait until you see the enemy Roadhog uses his hook and then try to go for the Rampage. Think about Arisa Spear. Arisa Spear can also disrupt you. Lastly, uh, Zarya bubbles are important to bait out too. If you're playing against a good Zarya, they'll usually save their bubbles if they know you're about to have your ult. Oh my, oh my god! Yo! There will be times where you play against like decent counters to your ult. And you can get that big uh, rampage damage and make sure you're using your abilities like immediately after you use this. Like if it's, you know, pulling a target closer, that's really low HP. Or even just, you know, popping your carnage, your primary, whatever you got to do to the finish off those targets. Lastly, I want to talk about how to rank up with this hero. I would say Junker Queen is a great solo queue hero, actually, because, he, you know, this hero can kind of just do everything on her own, very self-sufficient, but I would say duoing with a good support main, good Kiriko, it would actually be smart because I, I noticed that a decent weakness to Junker Queen is being anti-grenaded, so, like, if you have a, a good Kiriko duo, you can just, you know, always be cleansed, which would be nice. And then be aggressive with this character, guys. Like, this is a character that really wants to fight up close, really wants to be in the face of their enemies, right? Don't be afraid to press W in. Pop that shout, go in, 
you can actually do insane damage. There's been a lot of games I've played recently in top 500 where I'm literally just leading my team in damage because this hero is so underrated. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys uh, follow on twitch.tv slash where I stream. And I'll see you guys in the next one.